Okay boys, so today I'm going to be doing the top 25 favorite BO1 clips and I only can pick 25 out of the 1000 clips that I've gotten 1000, but if you do the math you'll find out that it's, it's almost 2000, maybe and um, yeah, if I couldn't get you in, I'm sorry I didn't analyze every single clip out of those 1000 so you know, this is just the most memorable clips I could remember and um, remember this is my top 25 favorite, not 25 best clips, so I don't want to hear in the comments. Um, to my calculations, this guy did more next than I shot, no I don't want to hear any of that. Um, this is just my personal favorite clips. And so let's get right into it. Number 25, we got Dumbo's. He's going to be going for his double neck, double pump neck, the pump neck enthusiast. He's been wanting to hit this forever and he finally dinked the kid. And he said it was unset up, so it was unset up. Shout out my boy Dumbo, it was a real good reaction too. He was so happy when he hit this. Next up we got Gods, he's gonna go for a titty neck in the WMD corner. You're probably like, bro, it's just a titty neck. Well, I mean, this dude was doing titty necks while everyone else was doing insta swaps and fake silent shots on um, setup. So, you know, shout out Gods, he, you know, he's probably the one who started this next stuff. Next up we got Woods, he's gonna go for a little clean little dive style with a with a crossbow and reel and that and hit the kid in hardcore and roll. That was very creative. The spot was creative as well. Next up we got Mio. Now if you wanted to see the perfect unset up array shot, this would be it. Good job, you know, this is so clean. I don't even know how to do that dive style still with the master key. He's gonna go for a little under barrel pull out with the cancel out. That was so clean and the dude was just perfect. Everything perfect. Next up we got Sean. Doing this before anyone else, a little creative on setup shot. I mean, creative setup shot. You know, the shot made it look so easy. Like, who goes for a knife lunch from that spot? It's so clean. Good job, Sean. Next up, we got K Bat playing someone in the chamber. He's gonna see the kid in the window, just go for the shot. And you know, I only got one bullet, but I'm just gonna go for the Sugi. And just dinks the kid and watch. You're about to see what he wasn't even in the window. Kid right here, hit him in the wall, man. Good stuff. Next up, we got Tyrone. He said, I'm gonna hit it first try, so I'm just throw both of my tongue locks across the map. It does get more cross map than this. Stink the kid, and as you can hear his reaction, pretty hyped. Back in the good days, when you would get hyped to join teams like SP, good stuff. Next up we got Dream, he's just gonna call out his own 2 pieces. listen. I would a beast shot, bro. If you didn't know, Dream is spicy pain. What a beast. <coughs> Number 17, we have Legendary Tokyo going for his Legendary Signature. He's just gonna dink the kid. Where was he? If you pay close attention, you can see he was on the other side of the barn, double wobbing somewhere. And you know, he's just gonna lie. Whatever, I'll just go and hit this very real quick. Like, how does he do it? How does he do it? <laughs> Next up, we got Pass. He's gonna go for the tower bank. And this was back when, like, we didn't even know you could wall bang that. He's just gonna go for it, unset up. Wrapping the shake emblem, too. What a beast. You can hear Kexi saying something about towel being whatever he was saying, but you know, towel being good stuff. Next up, we got Graf. He's gonna go for Olympian Knight across the map with a Tomahawk. Looks so clean. And just ding the kid. On Villa. Who stays on Villa? And you can hear Graf screaming at his own shot through other people's mics. Good stuff, Graf. Next up, we got Isaiah. Give him some extra points with the two of Dale's on ground before his shot. And he's gonna pull out his player card, hit him with a pistol. Boy. Not many people are playing hardcore at this time. And he just thinks that okay, creator shot idea. Next up, we got Neo. Neo wasn't even in a six man. He was just playing by himself in a random lobby and just happened to hit that. Imagine what the other kids would think when he hit that. 
Next up, we got Alyssa going for a freaking koala climb or whatever. Man. If you let go of that right trigger button while jumping on that ladder, you lose your knife lunge. Then he pulls out the under barrel while it jittering and all of that. You know how many fingers that is? I don't even understand, but shout out to the PS3. Give him some clout. Next up, we got Najee. He's playing some FFA, just dinking kids left and right. He's just gonna go for a random shot. I don't even guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for this random wall bang from a random spot and just dink the kid. I don't know. Then you got Trump. Go for automatic. Where was he, man? Where was he? I was in this game. He was in a. Uh, he was bottom barn, just snaking around, and uh, Trump did think so. That was crazy, bro. I don't even know how he hit that. He wasn't even using Harden, I don't think. Next up, number nine, we got Mercs. I know I'm here for Mercs. Oh, I'm the BO1 guy. How am I only at number nine? How disrespectful. Mm. Yo, yeah, whatever. Everyone's seen this shot. Valkyrie, you know, so insane. Three piece. Blows up one kid, knifes his own teammate in double, and hits the last kid. Good stuff, Mercs. I'm not gonna guess you up anymore. You had your fame. Good job. Next up, at number eight, we got Larky. You know, the boy just sprinting to the ladder to get a shot off. Yeah, if you do it before 2.15, or else he can't switch classes anymore. He's like, hurry up, bro. Hurry up. We gotta get the dummy in the spot. Hurry up so I can go for a shot. I'm about to hit it. He's gonna switch classes a bunch of times while zooming in, and pulling out his underbarrel, and Echo's reaction as well. Like, how do you do that? I don't know. How many fingers do these kids have? I don't understand. Oh man, such an insane shot. Like, good job, dude. And then next up, we got Acres. Not a lot of people know Acres. He's just gonna go for a triple collat. I couldn't even do that if I just hard scope him. And, you know, he had, he was, those weren't even two boxes. He had to go find people to set up for him triple clat. Like, who does that? Next up, we got Swizz. He's gonna go for a tag shot to reload nag and then hit the kid. What are the chances of doing all three and one and two spins? <laughs> Good shot, Swizz. Next up, we got Satay's. This was unset up if you didn't know. We're just playing some jungle. I was in this game. And he just goes for a double reload nag and hits to do with a crossbow. Let alone hitting an unset of crossbow shot with that distance and hit with two reload knacks. Like, I don't know what this kid was thinking. I didn't even know who this was at the time, but he just hit this. I was like, oh my god. How? That was insane. Good job. Next up, we got the, the god himself. I'm gonna go for a shot and just get randomly stunned mid air and still hits the shot. Like, that was so insane. I was, re I was recording a road to kill camp. You could probably go find the video somewhere on my channel and hear my own reaction. But that was insane. I don't know I, how I hit that. No. Eh. It was like in 2014. Probably got me in BOG as well. Now we're gonna give some more clout to the PS3. Puzzle is gonna go for a random shot. He's gonna hold on to that right stick and just spin a bunch of times randomly through that time. Like he just happens to be laying down facing the other way. Like, how insane is that? Good job, Puzzle. Next up, we got Loco. We're just gonna go for a three piece in like 2013. Like, okay. <laughs> insane. Okay, drum roll, please, for the last clip. You know, it's gonna be L7 Koi. Good job, Koi. No, I'm just playing. It's like you thought. Actually, we got Pace. Of course, it's Pace. You guys have been waiting for this. You're right. Where's Pace been? Here he is. I only can pick one shot of his, you know, that's hard to do, but I have to go with this shot. Shape like one opener, also opener to his own episode. You know, this is probably my favorite clip, because, you know, this was the start of many BO1 clips. Good stuff, Pace. Good stuff. Do I need to say anymore? This is my top 25. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, the, the audio recorded this time. But, um, yeah, good stuff.